was born to live, live to ride. Born to live, I was born to ride. American will we forever unite. And that's the deal I was born to ride. Now the is brought to you in part by 866 Law Friend. Ride safe, ride smart. Offices in Tom Harbor. When do you crave refreshing iced tea? Twisted Tea wants to know. The next time you want that same satisfying refreshment, but with a kick, grab a Twisted Tea. Twisted Tea, the refreshing hard iced tea that tastes like real iced tea with a kick. Thanks for tuning in to Born to Ride Television the longest running biker TV show in the world. Tonight we're off to downtown Disney in awe-inspiring Orlando, Florida, where commuters felt the roar on I-4 when the Tri-County Chapter of Bikers Against Child Abuse, also known as BACA, held their international fundraising motorcycle run to historic Orlando Harley-Davidson. Hundreds and hundreds of bikers from all over the world, including representatives from Holland, Italy, and even as far away as Australia, gathered with members and riders from cities all over the United States to raise money and support to help the children that need it the most. And to top it off, the Florida law enforcement community showed their support by escorting this impressive group of bikers to their destination and even closed down sections of Interstate 4. That's right, closed it down for the Bikers Against Child Abuse. So stay tuned, it's time to see how bikers give back to their community as we join the Baca Run Against Child Abuse. Right now, right here, only on Born to Ride. Kim Coates, I play Tig Traeger, Sons of Anarchy, and you are watching Born to Ride TV. <laughs> I'm Chief, I'm founder of Bikers Against Child Abuse, Baca. We uh, had our international meeting here in Orlando this year. First time coming down this way, see Orlando open its arms real big to us, it's pretty exciting. Uh, we have people here from the Netherlands, from Belgium, from Italy, and uh, Australia. So we're pretty excited about them being able to ride down here and uh, be able to have our meeting and take care of business and show everybody what we're about. I'd love to thank Born to Ride for uh, coming out and supporting us and uh, letting people know what we do. Hey, greetings all, we're from uh, Backer Australia, here in Florida, for the ride, and enjoying every moment of it. One Backer. Hi, my name is Trooper, I'm from the North Flanders Belgium chapter from Baca. Hi, I'm Papi, from Baca, Italy. <laughs> this is in memory of my father. Branson, Missouri. It's, uh, it's going to be a sleeve of my daughter growing up, and uh, and uh, when it's done, she'll. Uh, She'll actually be the one who signs it, and I have about eight to ten more years to go on it. 
Hey, believe it or not, even though all the gray beards, you were all kids at one time, and I know everyone here has probably got a story, and we wish we had Barker back then. Amen? But today, we want to lift up and thank all you guys for coming out here. And I think the, the, the blessing today is that Barker knows that the rest of the bikers in Florida have their back. Amen? Yeah. Well, Lord, we thank you for this wonderful day. Lord, we thank you for the Barker and what they represent. Give them safety and give them clarity of their mission. And today, and they know that we have their backs and we support them. And what they're doing is good. It is right. It's correct. It's what you taught us to take care of our children and watch them grow up and be protected. We thank you for this time. Thank you for everybody here. I thank you for a safe ride. In Jesus' name. Anybody say? Amen. God bless you guys. Okay, folks, I'm up here with Sergeant Steve from the Orange County Motors. Okay, this, as you know, is a Sheriff's Department escorted ride. We are going to shut down the interstate. Okay, gang, let's have a safe ride. All for Bikers Against Child Abuse. Thanks for coming out. Many more than we ever expected. This is awesome, folks. Be safe. We'll see you at Harley. We're ready for it. Looking down the highway And as far as I can see there were two willed angels side by side in harmony. Well, they're riding for a purpose, trying to help some kids in need. Oh, those beamers hard to find us, and everything in between. from back to Australia um, and you're watching Born to Ride. This is Theo Rossi. I play Juice on a show called Sons of Anarchy and I'll see you. guy. Venom Custom Choppers and Bar and Grill. Two locations, Newport Ritchie and Hudson. Every month in Hudson, it's the Customer Appreciation Party, third Sunday of the month. This is the new Destination Ride Party location. It's the number one collision repair for your motorcycle. Men will get you back on the road as soon as possible. Venom, Custom Choppers, Bar and Grill. And remember, attorney Fran Hosh says, always ride safe and ride smart. 866-LAW-FRAN. You've been involved in a motorcycle accident. I'm the biker on your side. I'm Fran Hosh, your attorney that rides motorcycle accidents to get my experience, personal attention. And there are no fees, no costs, unless you win. I've dedicated my career to helping accident victims and their loved ones. Your rights are my fight, and I'll never settle for less than you deserve. If you've been injured in a motorcycle accident, please call me at 866-LAW-FRAN or log on to lawfran.com. The event of the new year kicks off 2014 Thunder by the Bay, downtown Sarasota. Thursday, kickstart party. Friday, born to be wild kickoff party. Saturday, downtown festival, fog hat live in concert, bands all day long. Light up the night, LED bike show. The legacy of valor, Fence Fines motorcycle ride ends at downtown Sarasota. 14 class bike show, bands all day long, featuring the outlaws. Born to ride TV taping, 
Last year, over 70,000 people attended. Vendors, sign up now. When in Sarasota, stop by Rossiter's Harley-Davidson on Manatee River Harley-Davidson for free hot dogs, a free gift, and 10% off sale. Proceeds from Thunder by the Bay benefit Suncoast Charities for Children, and it's endorsed by Sarasota County Veterans Commission. And very special thanks to Hyatt Regency Sarasota for accommodations whenever Born to Ride stays in Sarasota. For more info on Thunder by the Bay, go to thunderbythebay.org or see it in the December issue of Born to Ride magazine. You can meet Orange County Choppers Paul Tuttle Sr. on Saturday and Sunday, January the 11th and the 12th at the Thunder by the Bay Motorcycle Rally. And you can even ride with him on Sunday on the Legacy of Valor Ride. Okay, here we are in Orlando, Harley-Davidson, and a big event's going on today. It's brought to you by BACA, that's B-A-C-A, -A, that's Bikers Against Child Abuse, and this is the founder of BACA. We're glad to have you in Florida today. This is Chief. You're the founder of BACA. Tell us what this all means to you today. Well, yeah, it's hard to put in words what it's like to watch something develop with just a small band of people running around trying to help kids to grow into something that's international today. Um, it's been a blessing and, uh, you know, I've, just the thousands and thousands of kids that we've been able to help, you know, there's nobody, that, what's unique about BACA, one of the things of being a tax exempt corporation is the fact that we don't have any paid employees. So we have people all over the world and we got, you know, hundreds of chapters and stuff, but we, uh, there's nobody paid. Our payday is when, uh, when the kids sleep through the night and they smile at you when they see you and they're safe again. And tell us the funding for this. This does provide uh, assistance to children that are abused, abandoned, or um, neglected? Yeah, well, our kids that come to us have all been uh, abused in some way or another, emotionally, physically, sexually, and they're all in the system. We make sure that all the kids are in the system because there's things set in place to help them. They just come to us and we just, you know, we have our own levels and levels and different ways of helping them. and. That, we just try and stay focused on what their needs are. Now it's gathering today, to, you look around at all the big burly bikers, we got Grumpy over here, the president of Baca in the Tri-County area. How deep are the bikers' hearts to want to do something for these kids? Uh, it takes a village, right? Well, no, it takes a biker group. <laughs> there you go, that's what I like to hear. Now where's your home base for you? I'm out of Utah, that's where Baca started. 16 years ago when we were uh, just a little band of, of guys. We had a little boy there that I'd been working with because I'm a licensed mental health professional there. And we've been working with this little boy. And I mean, this kid would make some gains in therapy and stuff, but it'd been probably two, two and a half months into summer. And this little boy was still scared to go outside of his house. And I just said, you know what, I got to get some of my bros together with this stuff. And because I grew up with a biker influence, I grew up in a biker world. And I knew that when I felt safe, I was with the bikers. I said, you guys want to go with me? We're going to visit this kid. So I had 27 of my brothers show up and said, yeah, let's go visit this kid. That afternoon, he was out riding his bike on a street. Something he hadn't done all summer. That's a great story. And then you have right beside you here Grumpy, the president of the Tri-County area in Orlando, and he put on one awesome ride today to support this cause. And uh, Grumpy, uh, tell us about the ride today. Well, it was a lot of people it took to put this together. Uh, we have very special members that, that really can help us out a lot with this. And uh, they just excelled in it. We were hoping to get about 200, maybe 300 bikes. And, and you see what we got out here. We got about 1,000 bikes out here. Uh, even the police were a little overwhelmed. I, I seen the first unit of motormen come up and, and I think they called for a second unit because they doubled up real fast. I don't think they expected this crowd. Uh, it's just showing the, the outpouring of love here in Central Florida. Uh, there's not a evening that goes by that we don't sit down at six o'clock and, and see what, what's on the news, the reports of the children being abused and, and worse. And uh, we had a, a fella down here who just passed away a few months ago, my good buddy Road Dog. He helped develop the chapter down here and make it what it is, and unfortunately he passed away in October. Uh, he's the one that got me into it, and you just get hooked. Well, I'm sure he'll be pleased at the turnout you had today. But we, we got to stop and, and think about this ride today. I-4 in Central Florida was closed 
that's not heard of. I mean, I-4 is the main artery for all the p tourists paying money to this area. They closed it, and the sheriff's office, bumper to bumper to bumper, they bumped us all the way through for miles to come to Orlando Harley-Davidson. I, you know, sorry if I sound really ecstatic over that. That does not happen in Orlando. So Baca means something to this area and means something to your founder here. Uh, yeah, well, at 6 and 11 o'clock tonight on the news, there's going to be a lot of people watching and saying, I was there and I've seen it. And uh, one way or another, they know about Baca in Central Florida. Well, going by, all the people that were stopped, they were waving, they were cheering you on. So there, I don't think anyone uh, missed a, a moment of their day. They couldn't wait for this special cause. And also, what a, what a great significance, too, a meaning for it to start at Disney. I mean, bikers helping children, starting the event at Disney. Disney was so gracious with all their help and security and parking, too. Well, Chief, you're here from Utah, and, and you're representing the chapter in Utah. And of course, we have Grumpy here representing the Tri-County area in Orlando. But, oh my gosh, you have a presence here today from your international chapters as well. This has been fantastic. Yeah, we do. We've got uh, our, our first uh, really organized chapters outside of the United States. We're in Australia. Uh, they have seven different chapters down there, and following them was Italy. They have three uh, just righteous chapters there in Italy. And we had uh, brothers and sisters here, and they just got patched from uh, Holland. And we have uh, a contingency from Belgium. We've also got forming efforts in France and Germany right now. Uh, yeah, foreign flavors, right? It's, it's, it's amazing to me uh, to watch Baca grow, you know? And uh, they have to do some things differently over there, but the mission's the same. And we empower abuse kids, that's it. It's all for the kids. And look, at they're all here today from Kansas, Arkansas, Italy. So you guys are doing a great job, a powerful job, um, taking care of those kids out there that can't speak up for themselves right now. And we appreciate your help. I'm glad to have you on the show. Thanks. You know, and if you want to get involved with Baca in any way, shape, or form, go visit our website at uh, bacaworld.org or bacainternational.org, and you can get in touch with the local chapter, and they'll guide you through the process of becoming involved. All right. We encourage you, get involved, Baca. These guys are doing the right things for the right reason. Our kids are the next ones out there looking out after us. we got to take care of them. Stay tuned. We'll have more from Born to Ride. I've been representing accident victims for nearly a decade, and I've always wanted an office where my clients would feel comfortable and welcome. I'm attorney Fran Hosh, and I've also always been a fighter, never backing down to any insurance company or their attorneys when it comes to representing my clients' rights. Let me deal with the insurance company so you don't have to. If you've been injured in an accident, please call me at 866-LAW-FRAN or log on to lawfran.com. January 16th through the 19th, it's Give Town Bike Week, Florida's most entertaining bike event. Over 24 bands, including Bobby Fritz and tributes to Leonard Skinner and Guns N' Roses, stunt shows, pro wrestling, Globe of Death, circus shows, vendors, call now. Saturday, Board to Ride Custom Bike Show, presented by Attorney Fran Hodge. Sunday, Hot Rod Classic Car Show, sponsored by Hot Rod Magazine. VIP packages, RV camping, all-you-can-eat and drink specials. Call now at 813-677-3590. Well, Hollow is the ultimate entertainment complex that just happens to be a golf and country club in beautiful Wesley Chapel. There's live music every Friday night and happy hours and a Sunday brunch and dinner rides. Stop by on your next weekend ride. Born to Ride's next Quail Hollow Biker Bash is Sunday, February the 16th, featuring the ultimate ACDC tribute band, A Highway to Hell, and a special appearance of that fire-breathing maniac, The Torch. That's Sunday, February the 16th, the Born to Ride Biker Bash at Quail Hollow in Wesley Chapel. Mark your calendar and make plans now. Find us on Facebook, Born to Ride TV and Magazine. For over 18 years, the ultimate multimedia biker experience. If you're looking for great food, fun, and fantastic service, Mojo's is the place for you. Amazing food, a fun environment, and service that never misses a beat. Mojo's has delicious wings, burgers, steaks, ribs, and the coldest beer in town. Daily specials for lunch and dinner, even nightly entertainment. Mojo's, 1845 East Memorial Boulevard, just minutes from downtown, right across the street from Lake Parker. Check us out. Getmojo.com.
Hey, don't forget to mark your calendar on Wednesday, January the 22nd at Mojo's in Lakeland. It's a special bike night as Born to Ride will be there TV taping. Don't miss it. Now you can take Born to Ride everywhere and anywhere. The new Born to Ride mobile app is ready for you to download. There's more multimedia, more information, more Born to Ride like never before. Born to Ride is a multimedia marketing informational machine with TV, magazine, streaming radio, and internet advertising opportunities. There are tens of thousands of motorcycles. We reach the people who ride them. Born to Ride. Find out more at borntoride.com. For all those people that are all smartened up talking kids, Arnie and K-Fizz, eh? <laughs> they know what's going on. What you gonna do when Board and Ride runs wild on you, brother? Well, it's the day of the dead jam, man. It's finally here. And we are so honored today on Born to Ride TV to have the cast members of the greatest TV show. Man, what a drama this is. The Sons of Anarchy, number one rated. These guys just, just deliver every week. It's twisted television. It's ultimate drama. Oh, man, I tell you. Katie Seagal, it's so so great to have you here on Born to Ride. What do you think of Florida? What do you think of the Day of the Dead Jam so far? Wow. Well, I haven't really walked around that much. I just flew in last night. So far, I like it. So far, I like all your Born to Ride things on your shirts, and I'm sure it'll be. I'm sure it'll be great. Well, I'll tell you what. You're a powerful. When I was promoting this, I was saying we have some powerful women part of this show. Jeanette Lee, the pool champion, the Black Widow, um, Joan Jett and the Blackhearts, and yourself. I mean, that's pretty. That's some woman power right there. It's great to have you here, and you're such a great act, actress on the show. Um, what, what's the secret to how you deliver that to make it look so real? Well, uh, <laughs> I'd say the writing, yeah. I'd say that, uh, very good. Uh, you know, there's a lot of things that go into actually developing the characters that we're portraying. And uh, the writing is where it starts. Then we all sort of commit to the, the situation we're in. You know, we're, we're actors. We, we, we play make-believe. And we, we do it pretty well, I think. We just sort of, you know, I mean, if we were doing a lawyer show, we'd all be wearing three-piece suits yeah. and doing that pretty well. So, um, you know, it's really just a matter of, uh, it's what we do for a living, is we, we, we step into the skins of other people. And, and like, I was, like you said, it is acting. People think the show is real. I, know. I mean, it's really good that you, can, that you can separate the difference here. Let me tell you something. Theo Rossi's never been this tall in his entire life. <laughs> Look at how tall this purpose. kid is. <laughs> Holy moly. Yeah. And his hair has never been that high. No. The humidity is just taking a life of he its own. Yes. Theo, what do you think about being here part of this jam? We appreciate you guys being here. And you did the promos for the show. It was awesome. This yeah. guy. Yeah, this guy. It's always this guy and this guy. We, we were on set doing our little promos. You know, listen, it's an honor. Anytime we can come out, we know, you know, we, got, we travel all over for the fans because we are truly like a fan base show. Like, our fans are so important to us. And we know without the fans, we don't have a job. And we love our fans. Like, a lot of shows go around and never connect with their fans. And we're lucky enough with the motorcycle community, with the rock community, with like the music community, our fans are all like tied in, military, everybody, and we're, we're lucky enough to go meet them and hang with them all the time. So it's as cool for us as it is for them. What a twisted show. Sometimes you watch the it, it just, you just, it's you just, that writer, Katie? Who, is that writer? who is he? Who's married to that guy, Katie? He's not as twisted in person, really. <laughs> I mean, yeah. you, you feel the pain, you feel the, the yeah. you feel the, uh, the passion of that. When you're watching it, you're like, wow. Yep. That's heavy, dude. That's some heavy stuff. What do you think about that? Well, I think this season in particular is uh, it's kind of sad. It's it's very emotional. You see a lot of a lot of the relationship between Jax and Tara. It is it's just very heart breaking, actually. And it's I mean, those seasons and, and you know, that after you watch it as a whole, it's a real story. This yeah. season is a is a true masterpiece of a story. Theo just said it. We are, and I say this a lot. We're on the other side of the mountain now. We have one more season after this season that's on television right now, and then it is over. 
So to be able to continue to connect with our fans everywhere is a really, uh, it is an honor and it's great to see everybody because we're such a huge hit now around the world and people just love our show and it's, it's on its way out now and that's going to be a really sad day next year. Katie knows this and Theo, everybody wants to be on our show. I mean, everybody in Hall wants to be on our show, and that's an honor because of the writing, because of the storytelling, and I don't know how this is going to end, and I, I don't even think Katie knows how this is going to end next year, but... She does. She's just not she does. She's just not telling me? Yeah. Jeez, Katie. I really don't know. Katie, your character is so complex. It's it's diverse, and it's twisted, but and it's it's just awesome, and people just live by your character. Wow. They, they live through you, and uh, we feel it. People feel it. Um, how does that make you feel? Well, you know, I always think uh, to see strong women, whether they're doing heinous acts or loving acts, on television is, is awesome. I think cable is finally offering opportunity to women of a certain age, I will say. There's amazingly strong women in my age group that are on cable television. So I will say that. And it's also, you know, it's cool to have so many women. I think, you know, our women, our female demographic went way up this year. A lot to do with the guys on our show. But I also like to think that they are relating to a strong female influence. You know, not that, um, you know, she just speaks her mind. And, uh, you know, she's not always politically correct, but she... There's a reason why our biggest selling shirt is what would Gemma do, because that's kind of the deal, you know what I mean? You know, that's that's the deal. Because at the heart of it, it's a family drama, you know what I mean? And she's at the head of the family, that's it. It's a family drama, and that's why people relate to it. And what Sutter did so brilliant from the beginning, this is a group of character actors, man. These are people who just love to go to work, and these are blue-collar actors from the beginning, and we've never changed, and that's why I think people relate to it. We love each other, we love doing the show. That's it. When you watch Sons of Anarchy, sometimes you're disturbed by it. You're disturbed. You're like, that's disturbing, man. What do you think of that? We, Theo and I were just in Texas, and a lot of the fans are saying, I'm anxious. I have anxiety, but I can't wait for next week. I can't wait to see what happens, but I'm anxious. So, yeah, this show's got it all. It's good storytelling. You know, it's like reading a book, and you just can't wait to turn the page and get to the end. You know, that's the job of the storyteller, is to put that all together. We're just little pawns in his play. Well, guys, I can't thank you so much, really. One more thing, I know you're involved in a lot of uh, charity for the troops. You want to plug that? Yeah, the, just go to bootcampaign.com. We're doing stuff like that. We have so many different charities we all promote constantly. But, you know, for military-wise, boot campaign, we've, you know, Katie sings, him and I do every, we go all over. We're doing everything we can to get to show the troops that when they come back, we give back. So that's always a big thing for us. Thank you. I can't thank you guys enough. You guys are awesome. I tell you what, people. The Born to Ride Day of the Dead right here. Sons of Anarchy on the set. We can't thank you guys enough for tuning in. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with more Born to Ride. This is Theo Rossi. I play Juice a show called Sons of Anarchy. And I'll see you. guy.